Devastating fire ripped through a building at a local summer camp, and a staff member is credited with saving a dozen people sleeping inside. Hello, I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. Ten different fire departments responded to the fire at Camp Alexander Max main building in Milford. News Channel 15's Drew Blair reports from the charred building. What was once Camp Mac's most vital building is now useless. Fire destroyed the main office despite a five-hour battle with firefighters. Breaking my heart as I watched them work hard to try to put it out and it just wouldn't go out. Saving Becker Hall was a feat more than 100 firefighters weren't able to accomplish. Fire sparked in the 80-year-old building known as the heartbeat of Camp Mac's operations early yesterday morning. This building is home, so it's kind of hard to lose it. It's really emotional and it's hard for a lot of people. Becker Hall served as the church camp's main office, kitchen and dining locations, as well as staff housing. And that's where my room was. Um, my room doesn't exist anymore. It's just a big hole. The fire started while 12 staff members slept inside. Camp officials called Nicole Anderson, the heroic staff member responsible for getting everyone out safely. The hallway was full of smoke, so I ran down and uh, started banging on people's doors and pulled the fire alarm and uh, we started shuffling people out. It was training Anderson never knew she would put into action. When you're walking down a hallway, your eyes are burning, you can't breathe, you're coughing, and everybody around you is coughing. Ultimately, the fire ripped apart a structure that's more than just a building to many. Where they made faith decisions, where they had, where they met spouses, uh, this building has played a role in a lot of people's lives. Today, camp officials say their mission is to pick up the pieces and figure out how to run a busy summer without Becker Hall. For that, the community is already pitching in, donating food, ice, supplies, and gift cards to help replace clothing for staff members. It's heartwarming. Uh, it bring tear, brought tears to my eyes yesterday every time we'd get a call from somebody offering something more, and we've had more of those today. The camp will stay open. In fact, it welcomed more than 100 campers yesterday, hours after the fire. We're just here to serve our campers and serve God, and that's, that's what we're here for, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Reporting in Milford, Drew Blair, News Channel 15.